Yes, up guys, in this video we're going to be going over the IRC modes in Ozone for the Maximizer. IRC stands for Intelligent Release Control, and what's happening with the Maximizer is it's uh, dynamically changing the release time depending on what's being fed into the Maximizer. So, uh, like a, a kick, snappy transient of a kick or a snare or something, it will react quickly to that, but for like a bass sound, it will react a little bit more slowly. And what this does is this prevents uh, distortion. So you can get more loudness and get all of the honeys. So IRC1 is uh, basically, it's, you know, with like the first generation of, uh, of uh, IRC. Um, it reacts just like how I explained it. It reacts quickly to transients and slowly to bass. And uh, yeah. It's uh, quite easy on the CPU and uh, it's kind of a good starting point. IRC2 is kind of similar, but what it does is it preserves the transients more. Uh, so it sounds, the, your track will sound a bit more clear. Um, and used in conjunction with the transient emphasis, you'll get a nice result. So IRC3 is the one used typically for EDM. In electronic music it is the most aggressive um and uh yeah you have your four flavors you have your balanced your pumping which is a bit slower so you know it'll sound like it's pumping the release time is a little bit longer uh which could work for you balanced is this in between it's more of a you know uh it, it sounds it sounds like a limiter should sound. Crisp is approaching distortion. It's kind of aggressive. It's not aggressive. It's aggressive, and uh, it will kind of colorize your uh, your mix. Um, it's distortion, but it's a good kind of distortion. Um, and clipping is exactly what you think it is. It's the the most aggressive, and it will uh, distort. And uh, yeah, it's used quite a bit, and what it does is it just flattens out certain elements, certain bands of uh, your mix, and uh, yeah, you got like knife party stuff going on, and that's uh, with that. IRC4, it's based on 3, but it, it, it's not, it reduces uh, the pumping and distortion. So uh, the classic is from, I think, the previous versions of uh, Ozone 5. Uh, modern, it, uh, it adds a bit more. It preserves the detail while still making it loud. And it, more, it focuses less on the transients and more on like the body of the music. And uh, transient, you know, focuses more on the punchiness of it. Uh, so yeah, and each of these modes and uh, flavors um, has a different kind of character wind when you uh, move your character slider up up and down. It changes things quite a bit. Um, so yeah, so what I do is uh, I have my Pro L open. So what I like to do is to bring to bring my RMS in Pro L. Uh, between 8 and 6 uh, uh, dB. Right, so right about now you hear a bit of distortion. some uh, inner sample peaking going on so let's turn that off so yeah I get up to a loudness that is approaching commercial and then I'll try each kind of mode um, and it really depends on how much low end you have and all that um, yeah we can just go clipping right. that sounds pretty good with the IRC mode with clipping compared to the same threshold with IRC1. Kind of makes a low end sound kind of like boxy. Right. 
And this is just an example. And uh, of course, you can use four. Uh, we'll go modern. Uh, this kind of enhances the body. Yep, it's quite difficult to get it loud, but, you know, what have you. So, think of these as, uh, you know, different advancements in the technology. IRC4 uh, is multiband. What it does is it kind of splits it up into different bands that are uh, causing uh, the, the peaks and the loudness, and it'll dynamically move those around. Um, that's basically it. Uh, a lot's going on under the hood. It's exciting. Hope you learn stuff. Take care and have a good one.